Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the debut record from Head on Hill, I out April 12th on Inverse Records. The album has nine tracks and is 32 minutes in length. Now, if you discover this project, this band, this group, this album, the same way I did, which was I found out that three members from Swallow of the Sun were the guys behind this, and it was founded actually by Yusuf from Swallow of the Sun and it features Miko and Yuho. So if you discover this project, this band, uh, through that caveat, if you will, me and you are on the same boat. That's exactly what piqued my interest. That's exactly what got me interested in checking out this record. Now, if you're expecting something along the lines of Swallow the Sun, you're going to be bitterly disappointed. This has nothing to do with it. This stands alone on its own. This is something completely different. The sound is different. The lyrical, the lyrical content is different. The musical approach is different. Everything about this record is absolutely different in a complete departure from that sound. What are you going to get from this record is plain and simple, old school death metal, gritty old school death metal with some black metal influences in it. I really feel that there is a little bit of black metal within this record. If you really start to break out some of the components of the record. Overall, if you're asking me to describe this record, how it feels, how it sounds, it is really, really aggressive. It is really balls to the wall aggressive. It has an aggressive approach from a musical perspective and from a lyrical perspective. There are melodic components in it that really break that aggression. But overall, this is an extremely dark, aggressive, depressive at times, somber, uh, really, it, it has a, a really sense of negativity to it as well, specifically from the lyrical content. So there are a lot of things going on within this album. There are a lot of emotions going on within this record. But the overall message, the overall vibe that you get the moment you sit down and you listen to it is how aggressive, how pungent it is and how much it comes at you relentlessly. Track after track, it just barely ever allows you to catch your breath. It barely ever lets you regain your composure. It's just aggression after aggression after aggression from all corners of the album, from a musical perspective, like I said, from a lyrical perspective, from a vocal perspective. That's pretty much what you're gonna get. This album is filled with negativity, like I said, from a lyrical perspective, but also a sense of hopelessness. And that sense of hopelessness really translated through the music and through the aggression and in key areas and key moments, the melody that the record really has. Now, the, 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 the structure of the record is really smart, it's really well put together. It really gives the listener a uh, different track after different track. They all have the same common denominator, like I said, they all have aggression as the common denominator, but every single track on this record, all nine tracks are very different. They all offer something unique and something different from, from each other. They really are set apart uh, and they're not all intertwined in a way that it just feels like instead of listening to nine tracks or listening to one track extended over nine periods. No, that's not the case. Each single song is very different, has a unique structure to it, has a unique approach, has a unique sound. And even the way they combine certain melodic elements within the songs, the way the solos were put together on the songs, really allowed each song to have its own fingerprint, its own identity, and to really stand on its own and not lose itself in the aggression that overall really dominates and takes over this whole record. Now, as far as songs are concerned, one of my favorite tracks is actually the single, but I really don't want to talk about the single because it's out there. You guys can go and listen to it. I really want to pick three other tracks that are not the single, and I want to start with Run You Scum. The moment I saw this track coming up and I saw the name of the track, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Napalm Death. And then the more I listened to the song, I really felt that there was a little bit of napalm death within this song. Not only from uh, the name of, of the track itself, but also a little bit from the style of the track and the way the track comes at you with the aggression, with the relentless aggression that it has. And even a little bit of the solo, it just felt reminiscent of what you would expect from a napalm death track. Now, this song has a great guitar riff. It really feels like you're running away from death itself, or at least you're running away from the end of times and despair. The, the way the riff comes at you really gives the listener a sense of a chase, like you're running away from something. And, and every time that riff comes in, the riff comes in and out throughout the track, but every time that riff comes up, it really gives the listener a sense that you're running away from something, that you're, 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 something is tracking you down and you're running away from it. I really like that 
that style of riff. I really like how they incorporate it into this song. Then when you think of the lyrics and when you think of the title of the track, it totally makes sense that the riff would give the suggestion that you're running away from something. I really like that. I also like what they've done from a vocal perspective on this track. They really had two styles of vocals. Uh, they had a, a much harsher style and then a, a harsh vocals, but not as harsh and not as deep. So there were two different sets of vocals used within the track. It really gave this track a, a, a little bit more momentum. It gave the track a little bit more substance. It gave it a little bit of layers to it. It created a, a sense of heaviness, it created a sense of dialogue, a sense of inner thought, inner struggle. It really gave the song a different dimension. It just added, the, using the two styles really added to what that riff had done to this specific song. I really like the solo. The solo on this track really adds something to the song. It really gives momentum to the song. And it's absolutely incredible, really beautifully done. It has aggression in it. But at the same time, it has a lot of darkness. So it really adds to the whole atmosphere that this track really has. The 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 riff uh, and the drums that follow the solo are just absolutely pure darkness. It's like bliss. Uh, it's a it's a blanket of darkness that covers the track towards the end of the track, and that covers you as the listener as you're listening to this song. Another song that I want to mention to you guys is Temple of Venus. This one very different song from the previous one. This one starts with a piano melody, horrifying, dark, embracing piano melody that once the guitars come in, the guitars continue with that same melody that the piano gave you. Really cool idea, really cool start, a really dark embrace start. But that that continuation, not having just the intro of the of the piano and then have a completely different sound coming from the guitars, I think that would have missed the point. Having the piano melody continue to the guitar melody being the same melody just coming out of two different instruments i thought it was the perfect way to get this song going and then when you add the aggression to it it's just it just takes the song to a whole new level once the vocals come in there's a lot of aggression into this track specifically every time the vocals come in there's a burst in aggression every time the vocals go out there is a sense of more of a melodic break if you will it just really allows you there's there's sporadic moments within this track when the vocals drop out and that melody comes in, that really allows you to catch your breath. It, it gives you a sense of, of release, a sense of, of, um, of calm before the storm. Because once that vocals come in, it just comes back at you and it's pure, pure, relentless aggression. I like the end of this song. I like what they did at, towards the end of the song. The last minute of, this, of the song is just pure instrumental melody coming at you with the same dark tone, not the same melody that starts off the track, with the, with the piano and then the guitars, a little bit different melody towards that end, that last minute of the song, but absolutely beautiful. It's very dark, it's very em embracing. It's almost like the, instead of creating an instrumental intro track, or not an intro track, but instrumental track that breaks the record, they included that into the song itself and allowed the song to finish off just with the instrumental portion. Absolutely well done, I really enjoyed it, it just, added darkness not that this song really needed that much darkness because it already had it in there specifically with the more melodic portions of the song but by adding this one minute long instrumental end to the song really added a blanket of darkness over the track last but not least anti-human agenda to me this is perhaps the song that encapsulates this record the best this to me is the track that really puts this whole track this whole record into perspective as far as what you're going to get this song has a killer starting riff. It almost feels more like a thrash metal riff than it does a death metal riff. Absolutely captivating. I really like how they started the track with that riff. And then it, 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 once you once once it gets going, there is a no take no prisoners. There's no nobody's taking any prisoners with this track. The, it, it becomes a combination of aggression coming from the guitar and the drums together, and it creates an insane tempo to the song. The song has a momentum of its own, has a life of its own, it just seems to just keep on going. It drops on only for a few melodic moments. There, there are some melodic parts of the song that really allow you to feel a little bit of a break, if you will. The song really has a lot of different momentums to it. There is, a, a towards the end of the track, a bulldozer of a riff, like a really chugging, heavy, methodic riff towards the, the middle end of the song that just really breaks the song into two parts. Uh, it really breaks the aggression and it breaks the darkness that this song has. And then it allows it to continue after that riff. 
th this is a song that just you never feel comfortable in knowing exactly where the song is going it, it feels like it's going in so many different directions as a listener you really have a hard time understanding where they're going with it because it just keeps pulling you in different directions you get aggression you get fast tempos you get you get a, a pungence of, of sound of, of darkness coming at you and then you have more melodic moments then you have these guitar riffs that almost sound like thrash metal guitar riffs that just break the song and just break the, the the monotony of the song they break the routine of the song they break the fluidity of the song they almost feel like they don't belong there but then when you start looking at the at the song as a whole as a as a bigger picture it makes total sense it just really feels like a song that's just honestly constantly pulling you in different directions i absolutely love this track it's one of my favorite tracks on the record the more i listened to it the more i fell in love with it because the more it made me feel uncomfortable it made me feel uneasy about the topic of the lyrics but also how those lyrics were delivered to me and how the music worked as a soundtrack to those lyrics the two are really intertwined the way the lyrics come at you the message in the lyrics and the way the song structure is created with all of those breaking moments of aggression and then more melody and then changes in riffs and styles. All of this is, is constructed in a way to give you the song and to deliver the lyrics to you at maximum volume with maximum presence. I absolutely love this track. One of the best tracks on the record because it just gives you a lot of different looks. It gives you a lot of different ideas and it really encapsulates, it really puts together this record and it really showcases you how diverse within, within the death metal genre that encapsulates this whole record, this song really shows you how diverse this album really is and what this band can really put together and offer you as the listener. All right, guys, this is it. This is my review, but I wanna hear from you guys. What are your thoughts? What were your thoughts going into the record? What did you think about the single that was released? Were you expecting something like this out of these guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.